Okay, and here we have the details of the Dwarf Lab giveaway exclusive here on Astro Dwarf Adventures. Thanks very much for joining me here today on Astro Dwarf Adventures. The Dwarf 2 Telescope app on Android has been available now since the 25th of December. If you haven't already downloaded it, please go to your Google Play Store and download it now. This video is a complete tutorial on how to use this software, at least for the Astro mode. So what are the different menu options within settings? What do they mean to you when you're using the telescope and using the app? And also how do we get fantastic Astro images to do an amazing image? And I'll actually take the M42 Orion Nebula and I'll do a nice image of that. This new software has a lot of great features asked for by the Dwarf 2 community. Obviously they're still doing revisements and they're still innovating the software and more will be added in the future. But what they've done so far is absolutely fantastic. So as I said in today's video, we're gonna have a complete run through in Astro mode from setting up the Dwarf, every aspect of it right through from start to complete it, stacked image right at the end. This has actually been a common request in my comments. People saying I've done tutorials in the past, but of course that was on the older version of the software. Also, as previously stated, as a thank you from me and from Dwarf Lab, and as a celebration of the new year, Dwarf Lab are allowing me to do a giveaway to my viewers, specifically of this video. So what's going to happen is throughout this video, I will be giving details of what you need to do to enter the giveaway. And it is very, very simple. I will include details of it through this video. So please watch the video from start to end. Don't skip through because you will miss perhaps a crucial piece of information to allow you to enter. Now entry is very easy, but there are certain rules which I have agreed with Dwarf Lab. Okay, and here we have the details of the Dwarf Lab giveaway exclusive here on Astro Dwarf Adventures. Three, two. Okay, third prize, Dwarf Lab UHC light pollution filter. Second prize is this filter and also two solar filters. And the first prize will be the Dwarf 2 telescope complete with bag and all the accessories. Wow. Okay, here we are, some giveaway information. The first thing that has been agreed with Dwarf Lab is this video has to get at least 100 likes. Both myself and Dwarf Lab agree that we want this giveaway to be to my followers. People enjoy my content and want to see more of what I'm producing and part of the Dwarf 2 community. So first things first, this video has to receive 100 likes for this giveaway to go ahead. That's the first thing. Keep watching to see what you need to do to be eligible for entry. Okay, on with the tutorial. So here we are, I've launched the app and I'm connecting to my Dwarf 2 telescope. Okay, that's connected to the Dwarf 2 and we're launching the new Dwarf 2 software. So let's have a look at some of the features. Here we can see remaining battery and memory capacity. As we scroll down, we can see we have the option to disengage the ring indicator and the battery indicator. We can also see album, home and settings. We're going to be having a look at the settings here on the new Dwarf 2 app. Okay, first under settings, we're looking at connection settings, where you can activate Wi-Fi at startup, choose STA mode, enable 2.4 gigahertz, Wi-Fi compatible mode, and also you can select your region. Under each section, you do see a description of what they're about. Next, and more importantly, in advanced settings, these are two great features where we can enable CPU mode. This will actually heat up the CPU and can be used for anti-fogging and for better performance. In MTP mode, you can connect your Dwarf 2 directly to your PC, no need to remove the memory card for easy file transfer of your images onto your PC, perhaps for some post-processing. Next, we can set the location of where you are in the world, and this can help Dwarf Lab better with plate solving. And here within general settings, we can select our language and also the appearance, whether you want to have auto light or dark modes, just really whatever is your preference. Lastly and about, we can see our basic terms and conditions, other information about the app, such as the current version. Finally, here we are back on the home page and the most important button, which is the one labeled photo. This will allow you to engage the Dwarf 2 imaging software. And let's have a look at that now. So this layout looks much better. On the left, we have the scroll wheel and on the right, we actually have the separate speed wheel. 
offering much better physical control of the movement of the Dwarf II telescope. So the first thing you have to do to be eligible is you must be subscribed to my channel. You have to be an Astro Dwarf Adventures subscriber and you must also do a like on this video which obviously helped towards the 100 likes that we're looking for in total as well. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you've liked this video. So keep watching to see what else you need to do to be eligible for this amazing giveaway. Okay, within that, first thing we do is click on photo, which shows us our modes. It was on photo, we're going to choose Astro. Then we're going to go down to the bottom where it says function. We're going to select function and that's going to show us our features for imaging in Astro mode. Let's have a look at Astro mode workflow. So first thing, we're going to take our dark frames, then focus the Dwarf 2 telescope, run the calibration, choose a target from the catalogue, go to settings and set our shooting parameters, and then we'll start imaging. Okay, first thing within Astro mode features, we choose darks. Here we're going to take our dark frames. These allow you a better image within the app itself. So this won't affect your final stacked image if you're doing post-processing on a computer. You can take separate darks for that. So let's run these darks now and we will let this process run. We will speed it up so you don't have to wait as long. Now the whole process of catching those dark frames actually took about 20 minutes. So obviously I sped that up quite a lot uh, just for the sake of this video. Now the next thing we're going to do is actually leave features, go to focus and run an autofocus. Now the autofocus on this version is considerably better in astro mode than the last. The autofocus algorithm is quite clever here. It actually starts out of focus, goes right through the sharpest focus, back out of focus, and then we'll settle on the smallest image it got for the best focus. It works very, very well. Now continuing on with the workflow, back within features, we choose calibration. That's one over from darks. This will work beautifully now that we have the sharp focus and allow the Dwarf 2 to calibrate and know where it is with plate solving so it understands where it is in the world and what it's currently looking at. And this now works exceptionally well because the focus is so good. Okay, the first and second calibrations are going without any problem and the third is done, so that is the calibration complete. Okay, giveaway information again. The next thing you also have to do to be eligible for this giveaway is be subscribed to Dwarf Lab's official YouTube channel. Now that's completely fair, of course. After all, it's them that are donating for my giveaway. So of course it's absolutely fair you're also subscribed to their channel. Okay, keep watching to see what else you need to do to be eligible. As I said, this is really easy. Next, we will go back to features, follow our workflow and go to our catalog. We'll just go and have a look at Nebula and we're going to choose M42, which is the Ryan Nebula. And we'll be imaging that for tonight. You see the catalog is much cleaner and easier to use than the previous version of this software. Everything is now categorized and it's much cleaner. So we've chosen M42, it's slewing itself now to M42, the Ryan Nebula. And if it's plates off correctly, it should now move that to the center of the screen, which has done. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Go to success. So the next thing again, within features, we're going to go to settings and we're going to have a look at our settings. So we'll make sure we're on fits. Uh, our preview will be stacked and we'll make sure we're on 4K imaging. We're now going to put the count up. I'm just going to put this up to the maximum. There we go. And now we have done that. The last thing to do is within exposure settings, we're going to move the shutter uh, up to 15 second exposure. We're leaving the gain at 80 and infrared pass on. Okay, all that's to be done now is to start shooting. All we do here is push the big red shoot button and let it start imaging. 
Okay, now we're successfully shooting. We can zoom into the bottom here, which is now where they've put the information about our imaging that we're currently doing. We see target M42, our exposure is set at 15 seconds with a gain of eight. We're doing a total of 999. So your battery doesn't run out of subs. Currently, um, we're on zero. That's a just moved to one. So remember, these are 15 seconds exposures. Once we get to two, we'll have our stacked image. There we go. So already that's tidied that up nicely. Okay, we're going to leave that running away. Now, the, what we can also do in the features bar is go to curves. And I'm just going to adjust the curves just a little bit to reduce some of that background noise. And then I'm going to let this run away. Again, this is going to be sped up uh, because otherwise it's quite a few hours of imaging. But you will see the M42 Orion Nebula developing quite nicely as we get more and more stacked images on top of each other. Unfortunately, the battery died on my Dwarf 2. I had forgot to plug in the external battery. So the actual image was about 390 subs, I think. Though the stacked image you saw on screen at the end before the Dwarf 2 had cut off, I think it was only about 290 uh, of those images stacked. So what you can see coming up next is the full stack damage, the full 390 subs. I have done no editing to it at all. I think I adjusted the light curves a little and that was it. But this is what this telescope is capable of. Have a look at this. With the new 4K resolution, this little telescope is so powerful. What a fantastic image of M42. More giveaway criteria. So another thing you need to do to be eligible to giveaway Leave a comment on this video. Now the comment should either be what you'd like to see me do next, what you'd like to see Dwarf Lab official release, and or what would you like to see in the development of the Dwarf 2 software or Dwarf 2 hardware. So any of those comments are all qualifying. So there you have it, very, very easy. So we've seen the three criteria that are required to be entered into the free giveaway draw, which as I said, will happen in my next video, which will be a premiere video, so you'll be able to chat with me while that video has been released. And you'll see it on the community post, and you'll know exactly when that's coming out. You don't have to be there when that video is premiered. I will be doing the draw, and the draw is based on this video. So if you don't see that as I'm releasing it in real time, don't worry about it. You'd still be included in this draw. In that next video, once I've done that draw, you'll be able to email me directly and I will pass your details on to Dwarf Lab and they'll send the prizes directly out to my followers that have won the draw. So good luck to all my viewers uh, and I hope you have a great new year. And don't forget to look up because you just don't know what you're going to see. Take care guys, thanks very much. And also a new member shout out to Roger Gibbons who joined at warp speed level. Your support is much appreciated. Thanks very much.